So let's bring up the question, is it actually possible to gain weight on fruits and vegetables? Well, it really depends on the amount that you're consuming and the frequency. But if we talk about vegetables, it's very likely you're going to ever gain weight in vegetables. Now, you might be thinking of potato, right, because that's a vegetable. Well, I'm not talking about potatoes. Of course you're going to gain weight on potatoes, especially if you cook them, because the more you cook them, the more sugar that's released, and that's going to create a problem with blood sugars. But if you just take vegetables in general, leafy greens, I mean, think about this. Seven cups of a salad, for example, with other mixed vegetables would only give you 10.8 carbs. That is an incredibly low amount of carbs. But seven grams of that is fiber. So we're really only getting uh, 3.8 net carbs. Extremely low, very low sugar, mostly fiber. So you just can't gain weight on this because the fiber doesn't affect insulin, only the carbs. So the situation is we have so much bulk and fiber, you wouldn't be able to eat that much to get that many carbs in to gain weight. I mean, we're talking about seven cups right here, and that's only 10 grams. So you're not going to gain weight on vegetables. Okay. Now, you may get bloating or fluid retention, which could result in weight gain, not fat gain. So if you're not used to consuming vegetables and you all of a sudden gain weight, realize that's a digestive issue. You want to back off. You could have a problem with an overgrowth of bacteria in your small intestine that's called SIBO. Watch my videos on that if you have that. But the point is that uh, that's a different situation. It's not actual fat gain, it's water retention. And all you have to do is cut back your vegetables and switch them to other things. I have tons of videos on that. I'll put the link down below. So the question is, what about fruits, OK? Can you gain weight on fruits? And the, and the answer is absolutely. But it's also dependent on the amount that you eat and the frequency. If you're snacking on fruits, like I was about five years ago between meals, I actually went up to 211 pounds, OK? 211. I just cut out the fruit and went right down to 180. So I have personal experience that fruit definitely can cause weight gain. Now in the past, they had something called wild watermelon. You can see a picture of it right here. Completely different carbohydrate and sugar levels. They had wild banana. Check that out. Wild carrot. Completely different than the carrots you see now. Wild corn. Very low in carbohydrate in the past. And then a wild peach, completely different than the peaches you see now. Then you have the wild apple, which is the crab apple, which are very tart, not very sweet. They don't have a lot of fructose. And I had a, a tree in my backyard growing up. And you'd literally chip your tooth if you chewed into it because it was so dense with fiber and so sour. It wasn't sweet. So over the years, they've changed our fruit. They basically made them sweeter with more sugar, and that results in more fructose. An apple uh, contains like 19 grams of sugar. That's a tremendous amount of sugar. The problem is that at least 60% of that is in the form of fructose. And fructose is metabolized differently. Your liver is forced to deal with fructose. And that can turn into insulin resistance and it can make you fat right around the midsection. On a positive note, fruits do have more vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients, and that's great. And that will protect against some of the sugar. But as far as weight gain, you're going to gain weight if you consume too much fruit, especially the apple and the pear. Uh, apple has 60% fructose. The pear has 60%. Melon has 60%. Now, melon does have more fiber and more water, but it is higher in fructose. I mean, take a look. If we compare that to actual table sugar, table sugar only has 50% fructose. These fruit have more fructose than actual table sugar. And in nature, fruit comes seasonally. So fruit originally was only at certain times of the year, and it definitely didn't contain the amount of fructose that it has now. So yes, potentially you can gain weight in fruit, but not on vegetables. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.